African American Music Appreciation Month, making it the perfect time to talk about jazz. How should I start it? You like jazz? Many people, myself included, would say yes. So let's get into it. Jazz had its start in the late 19th century in New Orleans, Louisiana, which makes sense because that area was a melting pot of different cultures. It had been a part of the Spanish and French empires before being sold to America in 1804. And then immigrants from different areas poured into Louisiana. For example, following the Haitian Revolution, the area saw an increase of immigrants coming over from Haiti, and with them, they brought their own musical traditions, like the use of syncopation, which is to play on the off beats, the twos and the fours, instead of the stronger beats, the ones and the threes. They also brought with them the use of polyrhythms, which is to play two or more different rhythms at the same time. Then you also have immigrants coming over from Cuba and Puerto Rico, and they bring their own traditions as well. They bring the clave rhythm, which is sort of like a metronome in that it helps to keep the beat in a song. They also bring the use of Afro-Caribbean instruments like the congas and the bongos. All of that helps to make jazz this new and exciting musical genre that starts spreading beyond the borders of Louisiana in the early 20th century. They start playing jazz in ballrooms and in speakeasies and in dance halls. However, despite the fact that it is Black musicians creating this music that people are enjoying, they still experience racism, leading to them creating their own spaces, such as the Cotton Club in Harlem, New York. Popular jazz artists of the day like Duke Ellington and Billie Holiday use their elevated platforms to speak out against that racism. For example, one of Billie Holiday's most famous songs, Strange Fruit, was speaking out against the racialized violence of the times, and later on it becomes an anthem of the civil rights movement. Jazz has continued to have increased popularity, even birthing different subgenres and influencing others that we know and love, like hip hop and soul and rock and roll. So the next time someone asks you, You like jazz? The answer might just be yes.